Hello, my name is Ponchi Rivas, and this video is going to show you how to unclog a completely clogged nozzle. And um, so the first thing you want to do is you want to heat up your extruder, and I've got it heating up to about 230. And you want to make sure that the fan is turned off so you can allow that heat to creep up into the barrel. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the arm from the extruder. Let's back it off a little bit. Just press right around here and it should slide right out. Now, you might get lucky and be able to just grab some film and, and push it through and unclog it. As you can see, this one, I'm pushing really hard. There, I actually got it. Okay, now that one, I got a little lucky there. It's unclogged. So you can see that I'm pushing film it through. Okay. But uh, in some cases, you can't. I mean, you can push down real hard, and you'll see that you can't get uh, that filament to you know, go through the nozzle. And uh, some people like to stick things in there, like piano wire. I don't recommend that because you're going to be scratching surfaces inside there. Um, so if you just can't do that, what you want to do is you want to take... Uh, now, this is all hot, so you have to be very careful. And so what you do is you take and hold the heater block, stick a seven millimeter socket, and turn that counterclockwise just as a screw, and then take it off of this and hold this thing. You've got to be careful because this is going to get hot. You've got to work quick. The socket will get hot. And the reason we're doing this while everything's hot is because if you've got plastic in there and it's solidified, you will not be able to remove that. Now, one trick that I found uh, on my own was that to clean this thing, I'll just take a pair of needle nose and I'll hold it and let gravity let this ooze out when I heat this thing up with a torch. So I've got the nozzle pointing up. And I'm just going to take the let's put something underneath here. So, um, you know, so what I'll do is I'll take the uh, torch and I'm going to heat this thing up till it's red hot. And everything's going to ooze out of there uh, and uh, just disintegrate. And you'll have a very clean nozzle. trace of PLA or ABS, whatever, is going to be just singed completely off. And just take this and point it up to the light and just make sure that you can see a little hole through there. And that means that you've got this thing completely cleaned. Now, you don't want to chill this too fast, so I'm going to let this, you know, off to the side and let it chill on its own room temperature. Okay, so I've let this cool down at room temperature, and now I can uh, throw it back in here. Now, you got to remember, this is hot. And I'm going to start it off with my fingers, but I'm going to be very careful not to touch the heater block because I'll get burned. You don't want to take too long to do this because this will start to get hot. Okay, so I've got it threaded. Now I'm going to take the socket and I'm going to just turn it by hand. I'm going to hold that heater block. Okay, so I've got it snugged up. And now, now you've got to, remember, you've got to do all this while it's hot because you're going to have plastic in there. And if it's, if it's solidified, you're not going to be able to put this in, into its place. So now I'm going to hold the heater block and I'm going to tighten this thing up, nozzle. And you want to kind of let it turn by itself. And then once that heater block has stopped turning, then you want to hold that heater block in place and give that just a little bit of a snug to tighten it up. Now, what you don't want to do is, you know, hold the heater block. And it, if it feels loose, um, you're not uh, making contact between the nozzle and the, uh, the filament barrel. Um, and if you leave a gap there, what you'll notice when you've assembled this and you start printing, 
is that uh, filament will ooze out through the sides here. Um, if that happens, you've got to take that apart again, and you've got to make sure that you've got that heater block up far enough so that this nozzle can screw in there and make contact with that, uh, that barrel. So now that I've got it all put together, I'm going to take some filament with a nice end on it, and I'm just going to test to make sure that I'm not blocked. And I'm going to push it a little bit hard here. There we go. Okay. So now it's just coming out really easy. Take that back out. Another thing while you've got this taken apart is you want to make sure that this is clean. You just kind of blow anything that you see in there out. And another problem that you could have, and maybe not, maybe not a uh, clogged nozzle, is uh, that this set screw in here has, uh, has you know, gotten free or something, and, and it's just spinning on that, uh, on that motor shaft. So just make sure that that's tight. Um, and you, and if, it is, if it is loose, you've got to make sure that where the groove is on that, that it's lined up with that hole. Now, let me show you let me just show you how close let's see if we can zoom in here now you can see how close that gear is to that motor it should be very close and what you want to have is you want to have this groove here lined up with the nozzle. If it's off to the side, it's going to cause, cause more resistance on the filament when it's, when it's going through the barrel. Okay, so now I'm just going to take and put this arm back in. Uh, one thing you can do to get trouble loading the filament which if you've been printing for a while, you get uh, very used to it very easy, but you can load it like this. So what I've done is I've put the filament through the hole on the arm, and then I'm just going to assemble this back. I'm going to make sure that that spring is inside the hole on the arm, and then put the screw in, and kind of wiggle it around, and just retighten it. Now make sure you have that fan off because if for some reason you stick a screwdriver in that fan, you're going to ruin it. Now when you tighten this back up, you want to make sure that you don't go too tight because you want to be able to move this. Just keep tightening it until that feels tight, yet you can move this. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to extrude some material, make sure that everything's working correctly. I'm going to the software and I'm going to hit the extrude button. And I've got the nozzle set at about 230 degrees. Oh, there we go. So you can see that I've got, this is PLA, that's why it's burning off. I've got the temperature set too high. But uh, as you can see, We've, un we've uh, unclogged that uh, jam in the nozzle. Uh, thank you very much for watching the video, and I hope this was helpful.